Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to the Scarecrow channel. Back here with another series. This time I'm going to attempt to make a go-kart slash dune buggy for my kids. Never done anything like that before, but how hard can it be, right? Well, I've picked out my motor and picked out my gear ratio. I picked out my axle, my wheels. Okay, so let me show you some of that. Let's take a look. Alright, so here's my motor. I went with the uh, Honda Clone 6.5 horsepower. Gives you around 200 cc's. So it's a pretty nice motor. This nice thing about it is that it's a it's a 45 angle uh, piston. So these ones are supposed to be a lot nicer. Uh, went with a centrifugal clutch. I went with a 10 tooth sprock, uh, sprocket because I want to gear it down more for torque and less for speed so the kids won't kill themselves on this thing. This thing is a pull start it's not a electrical start it's got a nice on and off switch which I'll be more than likely transferring to the to the handlebars okay so the centrifugal clutch I still need to get a nice bolt here that fits uh, this is the right size but it's the wrong threading so I just kind of put that on there so, to make it stop from falling off here while I do my measurements and that I believe this is a 5 16 24 threading okay so here's kind of what I have started for the frame of it I just started welding the back <clears throat> So I'm going with 24 by 24 frame back here. So there's my 24 by 24. I think it should fit pretty nice. The motor will sit over here. The centrifugal clutch will be here with a 40 uh, pitch chain. This is a 40 pitch uh, sprocket. It's a 60. Uh, tooth, meaning that I'll get my uh, so the the so the clutch is a 10 10 tooth the the sprocket is the back sprocket is a 60 tooth so that'll be 1 to 6 ratio <clears throat> a racing one usually has 1 to 3 nice torque uh, one is one to nine so this is somewhere in the middle so so it still should be pretty zippy so I went with a one inch axle in the back it's a 36 inch it doesn't have any threads in the back here so I can't put a bolt on here so once it uh, comes time to, to do this I'll show you how exactly I'll be planning on doing that. I'm not going to weld it or anything like that. It, there's a there's a bit of a trick that we can do to make that happen. It's a it's a keyed it's a keyed axle. That means I can put all my uh so this is my brake. Uh, I think this is a 6 inch uh hub or a 6 inch brake and it's keyed as well so I can I can put my key stock in here and, and lock it. Uh, my my sprocket come came, well. I had to buy a separate hub for it, but it's keyed as well. And you have to weld the hub to the sprocket. So we'll do that at a later time. Then I have some locking collars here. So I'll lock that stuff so it doesn't go anywhere. Then I went with pillow block bearings. These are the blue ones, uh, you can find them anywhere. They come with a, a, a locking collar as well. One for each side, so you put one, basically put one on the inside, and then you put one on the other side as well, on the inside, so it can't go this way because it locks it. 
and it can't go this way because it locks it as well. Uh, these tires are 18 inch, 18 and a half I believe. They're off of a riding lawnmower I do believe. Uh, they're kind of on backwards now. I will be flipping them back the other way because this is just a test. So the biggest thing uh, that I have to watch out while I'm building this thing and have to make my measurements very precise is because I'll be carrying this thing around in my little trailer here. And this is an 88 inch trailer the long way here. So I have to make sure that the wheels and everything fit in it. Well, from, from the back to the front here, that make sure everything fits in, in there because that's how I'll be carrying it around. And if it's two inches too long, it's just going to be a pain in the butt to, to you know, I don't know. I'm just hoping that it'll, it'll fit and, you know, it'll work for me, so. Okay, so I just wanted to give you an update. This will be a series. Uh, I'm not sure how many I'll be making of these. But I don't want to go into too much detail on every part, so it's not going to be like a 15 part or anything like that. I'm hoping maybe it's going to be around 6 or so parts. I, I have no idea. I'm not going to be going any of the welding part, building the frame or anything like that. I'll just show you once I'm done. But I will be going over some of the hard stuff that, you know, that people might have issues with, like the the front axle, the, the steering, uh, maybe the brake, the throttle, I went over the back axle already, so just kind of going step by step, any of the trouble parts that some of us didn't know anything about till you know, till we saw videos or read about it, so I did a lot of research and I'm feeling pretty confident that I can build this thing, you know, it's not too bad, I just go one step at a time, I've never done anything like this, like I said, I'm just learning as I go, so and I find that usually the best way and I have the most fun doing that so okay I believe that is it for for me if you have any comments questions if you want to see something specific please let me know down below I will be answering all of your questions and comments so if you have any be sure to let me know and then I will get back to you and if you want to see something specific again let me know and I will try to do that for you Please rate this video if you like it. If you don't, I guess that's okay too. If you want to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button so you'll see them as soon as they come out. And be sure to share this with your friends. Okay, well, uh, that is it for my time. I do thank you for yours. Have a good one. Bye.